40 mil can operate in one of three operating modes, transparent, gateway, and server mode. For this video, we'll be focusing on transparent mode. We'll cover what it is, and then discuss how to implement it quickly. 40 mil in transparent mode differs from gateway because it doesn't require changes to your existing DNSMX record. Instead, it behaves as a bump in the wire and will proxy incoming SMTP connections for the protected domain and then either forward or relay the message onwards after applying anti-spam and antivirus filtering. 40 mail, by default, will enforce user or MU authentication on behalf of the protected mail domain for messages destined for external domains. It can also offload the mail server by delivering mail to the external recipient. For this deployment example, the 40 mail appliance is in front and in line with the mail server. Port 1 of the 40 mail will be the router or internet facing interface, and port 2 will be connected to the internal mail server. Now there are a few other deployment examples your network can be in. If this one doesn't apply to you, be sure to check out the admin guide of the transparent mode deployment that best suits your needs. Now we'll need to change the unit's operation mode, but before we do, make sure that only port 1 is connected to your network and the other 40 mail interfaces are disconnected. From the 40 mail interface, go to Dashboard, Status, and select Transparent from the Operation drop-down menu. You can also perform this procedure through the CLI. Now you'll need to run the Quick Start Wizard. The process is fairly straightforward, but if you require a bit more detail, be sure to check out our Setting Up 40 Mail video. If the 40 mail unit is operating in transparent mode, in most cases, configuring DNS records for protected domain names is not required. Proper DNS records for your protected domain names are usually already in place. However, you must configure public DNS records for the 40 mail unit itself. By default, your web release hostname or IP is not configured, so the web release or delete links that appear in spam reports will use the fully qualified domain name of the 40 mail unit. For example, if the 40 mail unit's hostname is 40 mail and its local domain is example.net, the FQDN will be 40 mail.example.net, and the spam report's default web release link will look something like this. In the DNS configuration to support this, configure the following three records. Example.net in MX10 40mil.example.net, where example.net is the local domain name to which the 40 mil unit belongs in the MX record, and the 40 mil is the mail gateway. 40mil.example.net is the FQDN of the 40 mil unit. 40 mil in a 10.10.10.1, where 10.10.10.1 is the public IP address of the 40 mil unit and then one in ptr 40 mailexampnet It might be a good idea to provide a private DNS server on your local network to improve performance with features that use DNS queries. Be sure to consult the admin guide for further details if you require assistance. When configuring the protected domain and session profiles, you can select transparent mode options to hide the existence of the 40 mail unit. Protected domains define connections and email messages for which the 40 mail unit can perform protective email processing. To configure transparent mode options, go to Domain and User, Domain, and Domain, and then select the desired domain, and then Edit. Let's focus on the options that are only available if you have transparent mode on. Here, you'll want to select the network interface to which the protected SMTP server is connected. If we enable Hide the Transparent box, we'll preserve the IP address or domain name of the SMTP client for incoming mail messages and mask the existence of the 40 mail unit to the protected SMTP server. Then we enable Use This Domain to allow SMTP clients to send outgoing email directly through the protected SMTP server, and then select OK. Now we configure the transparent mode options of the session profile by going to Policy, IP Policy, IP Policy. Now select the name of the session profile from the Sessions column. Configure as desired, and then for Hide This Box from the Mail Server option, We'll enable it if we want to preserve the IP address or domain name of the SMTP client to mask the existence of the unit, as we did previously. Select OK, and be sure to repeat this for each IP-based policy. When operating in transparent mode, the 40 mail unit can use either transparent proxies or an implicit relay to inspect SMTP connections. If connection pickup is enabled for connections on that network interface, the 40 mail unit can scan and process the connection. If not enabled, the 40 mil unit will either block or permit the connection to pass through unmodified. Let's now configure SMTP proxy and implicit relay pickup. Go to System, Network, Interface. Edit SMTP proxy settings on both port 1 and port 2. 
For port 1, we'll select drop for incoming connection, pass for outgoing, and enable local connections. For port 2, we'll select proxy, drop, and disable. So now, incoming connections arriving on port 2 will be scanned for traveling to the mail email server and are configured as a proxy. And that about wraps it up for today. You should now have a good understanding of how to successfully implement the transparent mode operation mode for 40mail. Thanks for watching and have a great day.